The Panther KF-51 is a German main battle tank that is under development by Rheinmetall Land System. It was unveiled publicly at the Eurosatry Defense Exhibition on 13 June 2022. KF is short for Kettenfahrzeug, i.e., tracked vehicle. The KF-51 is based on the hull of the Leopard 2A4. A new turret is to be mounted on the Leopard 2, the main gun is an autoloaded 130mm caliber. On 5 December, 2022 Rinmetal announced that it plans to mainly target existing Leopard 2 operators with the KF-51. Rinmetal began the development of major subsystems related to the Panther in 2016, with system-level design commencing in 2018. The Panther has been developed as a private venture by Rinmetal to demonstrate by 2026 the potential for increasing the lethality, mobility, survivability, and networking capabilities of MBTs without incurring a significant increase in weight. To reduce the weight of the Leopard 2A4 platform on which the development vehicle is based, Rinmetal prioritized active over passive protection. Further developments under consideration for the vehicle, including measures to make it more environmentally friendly during peacetime operations, the installation of a more powerful and more efficient power pack, the integration of AI into the fire control system to enable automated target detection and identification, mounting an unmanned turret on the vehicle, and the creation of an unmanned version of the Panther. Efforts to make the vehicle more environmentally friendly could result in an alternative hull being developed for the Panther. The KF-51 is based on the hull of the Leopard 2A4, thus, it has a conventional layout for an MBT with the driver at the front, the fighting compartment turret in the middle, and the power pack at the rear. The driver is seated in the front right of the hull and is provided with a single-piece hatch above their position in the roof of the glassy plate. A separate crew station can be provided in the left front of the hull for either a dedicated systems operator or a unit commander. Color cameras for the driver are installed in the center of the front and rear of the hull. Should the KF-51 enter production a new hull would be designed by Rinmetal. Where the design of the KF-51 departs from that of the preceding generation of Western MBTs is by the introduction of a new two-person turret fitted with an auto-loaded main gun. The rear of the turret houses the magazines for the main gun's automatic loader and pods for loitering munitions if these have been equipped. There are housings for cameras on all four corners of the turret and in the middle of each side of the turret. The Panther has a combat weight of 59 tons making it lighter than most Western MBTs developed prior to 2022. The power pack, tracks and most of the running gear of the vehicle are also believed to have been derived from those of the Leopard 2A4. This Leopard 2A4 power pack consists of an MTU MB873KA501 water-cooled V12 diesel engine, producing 1,479 horsepower at 2,600 rpm. This coupled to a rank HSWL354 four-speed automatic transmission. The Panther's maximum speed has not been disclosed, but it has a maximum range of 500 kilometers. The Leopard 2A4's running gear consists of seven dual-tired rubber road wheels and four rubber-tired offset track return rollers on each side, with the idler at the front and the drive sprocket at the rear. The road wheels are supported by torsion bar suspension with advanced friction dampers. The first, second, third, sixth, and seventh road wheels feature advanced friction dampers and hydraulic bump stops to dampen oscillations, with the fourth and fifth fitted with solid bump stops. The KF-51 is fitted with an 82-link Defense Service Tracks 570F track of 635 mm width with rubber-bushed end connectors on each side. The KF-51 Panther is stated to have three layers of protection, passive, reactive and active. The innermost layer consists of all welded steel armor covered by passive armor modules. The second layer comprises sensor-based reactive armor, while the final layer consists of Rinmetal's Active Defense System Active Protection System that Rinmetal claims is capable of protecting against kinetic energy projectiles and anti-tank guided missiles. It is possible to mount the ADS on both the hull and the turret. The Panther is fitted with eight Rinmetal Rapid Obscuring System smoke grenade launchers mounted in staggered rows of two behind the central camera housing on each side of the turret. It is possible to integrate sensors into the Panther that can detect the launch signature of ATGMs and unguided anti-tank rockets, before queuing the vehicle's crew towards the threat or launching appropriate countermeasures. The Panther can be fitted with Rinmetal's top attack protection system. This comprises a hard kill element in which the coverage of the ADS is extended to the roof of the platform to protect against both ATGMs and unguided anti-tank rockets launched at high elevations, 
as well as a soft kill element that aims to protect against threats such as loitering munitions. The primary armament of the KF-51 is a stabilized Rinmetal RH-130L, 51 130mm smoothbore gun that can be elevated from minus 9 degrees to plus 20 degrees. Rinmetal claims that this is capable of delivering between 18 to 20 megajoules, 13 million to 15 million foot-pounds force, of energy onto a target and that it has a 50% longer effective range than Rinmetal, 120mm tank guns. The RH-130 can fire armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding Sabo ammunition, programmable air burst high explosive and practice projectiles. If you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up, comment and of course subscribe to our channel and enable notifications not to miss new interesting videos so more people can see it and enjoy it too. Thanks.